Y'all gonna win it. <laughs> but y'all gotta believe y'all gonna win it and y'all look. And ain't nobody gonna give it to you. They ain't 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 gonna give it to you. I don't think they're in the running. Y'all gonna have to take it. Because y'all want it. Y'all feel me now. Y'all are playing for a state championship. And y'all gotta start seeing it. Y'all gotta start dreaming it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all gotta start believing it right now. Because it's 40 years since Brulee won a state championship. In 1983-84, Brulee won a state championship. Y'all feel me now? It's been 40 years. Next year, 2023-2014, which is y'all, it's gonna be 40 years. So I looked up 40 and see what 40 mean. And see, 40 mean, look what 40 mean. The number 40 represents the start of a new chapter, new life, and new growth. We're gonna start a new chapter, we're gonna have new life, we're gonna have new growth. That basically means y'all gonna win a goddamn state championship this year. Cause y'all gonna start something new. It's been 40 years since y'all did it. Y'all starting something new this year. But look at this one. I even like this. Now y'all look this shit up in the Bible, the, the Bible or y'all look this up in on Google and see my bullshit y'all. Look what 40 means represent. It also represents a complete and sufficient period to finish a work. It also represents a complete and sufficient period to finish a work. You see, they helped y'all get this work started last year. And two years ago, y'all got the work started. And three years ago, y'all got the work started. Y'all went to the quarters last year. Y'all might have thought that was the end of something. No, that, that's just trying to finish work. But y'all got to finish the work this year. So when you finish the work this year, you win the state championship. It's been 40 years. And what? Help me, help me y'all. Y'all can't say that? It's time. Don't y'all think? 20 years? Uh, 30 years? But 40 years ain't it's time? Y'all want to wait 50 years? See, y'all have kids by then. It's time, man. It's time to win a state championship. So I went out and I started saying, well, if I'm gonna do this speech, me and Luke, Luke uh, Coach Luke, we figured this out on Sunday night. I said, okay, let me do some research. So I went to the, the, the gym next door. And I looked up the 84 state championship. They got that banner up there, but it was messed up. They put the people first and last name. I'm gonna say put the people initial and their last name. So like D Jones, um, S Shaw. Who was that sharp? But that was 40 years ago. They, that's how they put up a banner 40 years ago in the gym. Now you put up a banner, you put the first and the last name. So I went and I started talking to these people. And I said to myself, I called three of these people and talked to them. I said, okay, tell me something about that state championship team. Now, I know some of these y'all relatives. I know some of these y'all uncles, some of these y'all cousins. She might be one of y'all daddies or something. They look at them names. So these 12 boys won the state championship. And I researched and I got all their names. You see this Cedric Shaw guy? He got a baseball scholarship and he went to the pros. Now Cedric Shaw, he could dump the ball when he was in eighth grade. So he probably could have got a basketball scholarship, but he was real good in baseball. Darren Johnson, stole ball, probably a tombstone kid. Darren Jones, I talked to him. Darren Dean. Basketball scholarship. Kenna Bynum, basketball scholarship. Rolando Brown, Nolan Brown, football scholarship. Lawrence Bro, Jason Manola, y'all past president. Jason Manola in January finna take over. Not, he ain't gonna be over Brutal. He gonna be over Port Allen. He gonna be over West Baton Rouge. He's gonna be the most powerful man in West Baton Rouge. And he was on the state championship team. Patrick Boudreaux. Roger Craig got a chance to talk to him, basketball scholarship. But Roger told me this. He said, and it's, it's unique with y'all. He said, our tallest guy was 6'4. We had a 6'3, we had a 6'2, and everybody else was about six foot. He said, but this was a unique thing, coach. But by the time they got to be juniors, 10 of them out of 12 could dunk. So that tell me, wait a minute, it's 10 of 12. Something going on with leg power right there, leg explosion. You got 10 boys on the team that could dunk and they had their junior year. So you know what happened their senior year. So the junior year, White Castle won the state championship in 83. So the senior year come and 
White Castle go to Raven and lose. Got the big head. Got the big head. They was four to win it. They had won it the last year with the same team. Rayville beat them. Brutally upset Rayville and Brutally beat Numa. And then Brutally destroyed the team in the state championship game, uh, Punk, Upper Punk of P, and beat them 80 to 60 something. 84, 69, something like that. Wasn't even close. So I'm talking to a couple of the players. I talked to this guy. And he said, Coach, we used to run that damn net like crazy. And they said, Coach, and I talked to this guy, and he said, practice was so hard. He said, our second screen could beat 80% of the people we played against. He said, the games was easy. It was the practice. We went in it in practice. And I started thinking about some of the championship teams I've had in 30 years. We went at each other at practice. Game's easy. Because our second screen better than they starters. And I know some of y'all second screen better than some of the starters y'all play. Am I right or wrong? That's what make y'all that second screen. But, you know, that, that, that really got me. They, they about the same height as y'all. And they won a state championship. And this one, this one, Craig, who told me this? Dean, I'm, no, 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 Jones. Jones told me this. He said, Coach, I'm going to say the craziest thing. He said, we pressed the whole game. Every game, we pressed the whole game. If we up by 30, we still press. It just was our mentality. It's just what our coach understood. Now, the coach was named something. Y'all going through the gym, turn something. But he played with Pistol Pete. I don't know if they played high school ball together or college ball together, but they, he played with Pistol Pete. And he was like, he just got them in such good shape. But he said the craziest thing. Now, check out what he said. He said, if we was close to y'all at halftime, that means y'all was beating us by four at halftime. The game was over. We had won. If, 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 if we was tied at halftime, the game was over. He said, we ain't lose a second half the whole year. And we knew that. So it didn't matter what the coach said at halftime. We knew we was in better shape than everybody. And we go out the second half, we're going to blow them out. So they, maybe they had a 10 or 15 point lead at halftime, they might could beat us. But if it was close at halftime, we was going to win. And that was their mentality. And that's what they believed in. That was their culture. See, their culture was in shape, practice hard, and believe in each other. Now, I ain't put four, five or six, I mean, six or seven on play now. But they say the practices was hard. Because that's when you when you get to a championship team, ain't too many people play if you're gonna win a championship. It'd be a, a one-man rotation or a two-man rotation. Maybe you get a three-man rotation. Maybe I, I saw Richwood one time when it, they had a 15-man rotation. Five, five, five. That don't happen too often. But he said, man, they culture, they believed in each other, they practiced hard, and they won. Y'all understand what I'm saying? All right. Now see, I need y'all here, because all y'all sleeping. Can y'all wake up for me a little bit? Okay, now, I see my shirt say right. Well, what, what time it is? It's time, okay. What about this one? It's time! What my shirt say? It's time! Now, y'all, well, look, who is louder, me or you? And y'all got 15. Y'all let me join with y'all. Y'all know what John Wick is? John Wick killed 100 people by himself. I just killed y'all. I'm gonna say it again. It's time! What time it is? It's, it's time. time! That's all I need. I don't need it that hard. All right, I don't need it that hard. Now look. Now see, I'm a kid from Brood. I'm a kid from Brood. And what time it is? It's, it's time. time! So every time I pass y'all the ball, you see you laughing. See you laughing. You ain't ready to win the state championship. If you're serious about this shit, I want to win the state championship. You want to win one? All right. Well look, you get your laugh on, cause laugh and make you laugh. This just serious. We're going to win the state championship. What grade is he? Uh, he was a sophomore. Sophomore, of course, okay. That's our starting quarterback. Watch out, boy. Why, last year's starting quarterback? Two years. Y'all running the damn option. I like how y'all ran that via option against McKinley. You look good. Y'all run that via option. Y'all going to be a bad team next year running that via option. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. Ain't too many people know how to pass for. Okay, this is what we're going to do, guys. When I pass y'all the ball, y'all say it's time. Just say it. It's time. it's time. That's all I need from y'all. You see? Now, see, I'm one of y'all. I'm one of y'all. I'm a kid from Brooklyn. I'm just a kid from Brooklyn, and nobody don't know me. You see what I'm saying? So, see, I'm a kid from Brooklyn. I'm from Tombstone. I'm from Back Brooklyn. I'm from Red Eye. 
I'm from Paul Lane. I'm from Lukeville, and I'm from Choctaw Addis. And I believe I could win a state championship because I don't care what everybody else believes because it's, it's done. done. You see, my colors are red and gold. My colors are red and gold. And guess what? They're marine colors. And the marines are tough because I'm tough. And that means simple five. If you don't know what it means, go look it up. I believe I could win a state championship because I believe in myself and it's, it's time. time. You see, I got pride. I got heart. I got manhood. Let me do it for you again if you ain't see it. I got pride, I got heart, and I got manhood. And I believe I can win a state championship because it's time. You see, I've been playing this goddamn game for 10 years. I didn't put a lot of time on that court. I didn't put it with a lot of coaches yelling at me, all kind of stuff. I believe I can win a state championship because it's, it's time. time. You see, I go to a school. I go to a school that's a $50 million brand new school. I play at a gym that's a $50 million brand new school. I'm in a meeting room right now, and colleges don't have even meeting rooms. I got some good stuff. My basketball finances, I ain't got no basketball finance problem. So I ain't got no problems like that. So I know I can win a state championship because I ain't got the other problem other schools got because it's, it's time. time. My principals, my teachers, my students, my parents, my administrators, everybody support me. My coaches. I ain't got no excuse for winning the state championship because it's time. Y'all got everything in this room that y'all need. Y'all got everything in this room that y'all need. Coaches, players to win a state championship, but you do need that other support. It's been 40 years. It's been 40 years and it's, it's time. time. I could be a state championship because it's, it's time. time. 40 years a state champion and it's time. time. Y'all gotta figure it out, man. 40 goddamn years. It's time, man. And y'all gotta say it. Not me. Maybe not even them coaches, but they're they going to play a big fact, especially close games. The close games, the coaches going to help determine who win the game. And the close games, the free throws and fire shots, um, the out-of-bound plays going to help you determine who win the game. It's time, man. But y'all got to believe it. And y'all got to have that goddamn swagger where y'all don't get upset. And y'all, I'm telling you, listen to me when I say, watch out for them. Not watch out for them if y'all had to play them one time. Watch out for them, because y'all might have to play them three times. Y'all feel me? See where they at. Know where they at. Don't be intimidated by them. Know where they at, and see where they at, and be ready to whoop their butt. It's y'all time. It is brutal time, and I believe in y'all. I know y'all can do it. I seen y'all play last year a couple times. I seen y'all play this year already. It's y'all time, man. But the littlest thing can mess it up. The littlest attitude. Love each other as teammates. Get along with each other. I know it's hard, man, but guess what? You're going to have to have it to win it all. And if y'all fussing with each other, y'all hurting yourself. Y'all remember I said about the Techno 5 last year? I ain't going to do nothing to hurt myself. I ain't fussing with this coach because it's going to hurt me. I ain't fussing with my teammates because it's going to hurt me. And I ain't saying, hey, Wesley, come on, man. I need you to get a couple rebounds. Hey, Luke, come on, man. Don't turn that damn ball over. Come on, young. Come on, man. Make your damn dunk. Shit, make your damn free throws. A snare? No, no, no. I ain't saying that. I got y'all some up. I shot y'all. Y'all feel me. But guess what? Y'all feel me. But I ain't, we ain't fussing with each other. I ain't doing nothing to hurt myself. I wish y'all the best this season. Good luck to y'all. I will, well, let me see what I got on y'all this year. I got, I got this West Side Showdown YouTube game. Coming over here for Brutally Port Out, do a YouTube game. I got McKinley, Brutally, when y'all go to McKinley, radio game. So I'm going to see y'all this year, man. And I'm going to wish y'all the best. But I'm going to wish the other team the best, too. And I'm going to tell you like I told you, Wesley. Remember what I told y'all. If y'all want me to call y'all name out, y'all better do something. I can't call your name out if you ain't doing nothing. If you make two points, I, mean, I can't say nothing about you. But if you make 15 points, 10 rebounds, and a couple steals, and a couple blocks out, 
boy, bad boy. Y'all feel me now? That's just how TV work and radio work. I wish y'all the best. Thank y'all very much.